Hey guys, just wanted to do a, a quick video here to uh, show off my new belt grinder. This is my first video I've uploaded here to my YouTube page, but uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more knife making videos here in the future. Um, so uh, I just got a new 2x72 belt grinder. Um, I've been using a uh, Craftsman 2x42, so this is a big step up for me. And uh, I've been looking out for one for a while and kind of going back and forth trying to decide exactly what kind of grinder I was going to get. and. Uh, I basically decided I was going to try and get a grinder in a box and build it myself. Um, try and kind of keep costs down. But then I came across this grinder on eBay and uh, after doing some research and looking at photos and videos and stuff, I decided to go ahead and, and get this one. Um, looked like a more well-built grinder than anything I could put together. And plus the, the cost was right. I paid uh, $500, just under $500 for the the grinder frame with the platen and the wheels and, and everything. And uh, that's actually probably less than what it would have cost me to do a grinder in a box by the time I I got the tooling arm and the wheels and and uh, all the new tools I would need for for tapping holes and and a drill press big enough to, to drill the holes I needed. So I think I came out on top and ended up with a, a very good quality grinder. Um, so this grinder here, I bought off a guy on eBay, a um, guy called Oregon Blade Maker. As you can see, it's got a little, uh, see here, OregonBladeMaker.com. Um, like I said, it was just under $500 on eBay. Um, and then I got a, uh, a steal of a deal on a brand new KBAC 24D um, VFD. I, Picked that up for 120 bucks from a guy. Had to uh, drive a little ways out into Arkansas to get it, but for 120 bucks, I'm happy there. And then I got a uh, an Iron Horse, a new Iron Horse one horsepower motor off of, uh, I believe, Automation Direct, one of the uh, websites, and uh, that was about 120 bucks or so shipped there. So. All together, it was right around 750 bucks for the whole package to get a variable speed grinder, um, high quality unit. And then I picked up the, the stand here from Harbor Freight and a couple of pieces of high half inch plywood on there. Got it all put together and you know, all in about 800 bucks for a variable speed grinder. Um, like I said, I'm very happy with, with the quality of the build. You can see it's, it's built here out of, uh, looks like half or quarter inch steel plate here and then half inch up here and uh, say hi to Johnny football there. Um, so it's got a, a 20 pound, like a 20 pound gas spring, tension spring here. And uh, all the wheels and everything included here, including the platen. Um, you can actually buy, if you have a KMG or, or a grinder in a box, you can actually buy um, parts for that. You can buy the wheels and the platen and uh, other parts on eBay f for your grinder there too. And uh, I highly recommend it. Good price and uh, good quality product here. And uh, as you can see, it's it's bolted down. It's, it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. There's no vibration or anything whenever whenever you fire it up and I'll turn it on here and we can see see it run for a second and uh, like I said we've got the VFD here so we can go from zero so you see how slow it can go Then we shut it off. So that was only about 50% of max speed. So um, got a great range of, of grinding there. And uh, that was the biggest issue I had with the 2x42 was just the speed was, for me, it was almost impossible to uh, get any finishing work done on it. And so 
I'm uh, working on my first knife here on the, the new grinder. Here's a, uh, a quick look at that. It's kind of a little mini sway back. I've been making smaller knives just because of the, the grinder I had to work with. And uh, so I'll start making some bigger stuff. Here's one that I, I finished up here. Another little kind of everyday carry type little mini with ebony scales on there and 01 tools. Tool still and uh, the sheath there. So uh, anyways, just wanted to share a, a quick review on the grinder again from Oregon Blade Maker off of eBay. 500 bucks for, for the whole package without the uh, without the motor and the VFD, but just a, a great deal in my opinion and a, a really well-built grinder. Thanks.